Good afternoon, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. Welcome newcomers and welcome to those back to my channel. Please remember to hit the thumbs up and like the video. It helps get the message out there. And remember to hit the notifications bell so uh, new subscribers or old subscribers that you receive notifications because I'm hearing from a lot of YouTube creators, some with <laughs> lots more subscribers than I have that are being shadow banned that they're being unsubscribed so um, in case that happens just try to resubscribe you can contact me or leave a comment in the comment section but I wanted to read a message from a dr. Eric Karlstrom as you know I'm on his mailing list and there are a lot of conversations that go back to forth he's got a wonderful website where you can also locate this information, but I wanted to read it from the email. And he says this, this is as a Christmas message gift. And by the way, I'm Lorraine Alternative Homesteading. <laughs> I live in rural Kentucky. I moved from Manalpa, New Jersey in 2019. And I am a, unfortunately, a targeted person. I'm on some watch list. Maybe I'm on several watch lists. But whatever uh, the reasons I got on, somebody just doesn't like me for some reason, just like you guys. So as a Christmas message gift, a Dr. Karlstrom would like to repeat, and I'm just going to read his words, that I don't believe this program is really about us. Although it is important we document the crime, this is really about the criminals that are doing it and getting away with it. We might call them humans 0, 0.0 <laughs> or, <laughs> this is a good one, homo psychopathicus. <laughs> These are not humans by any reasonable definition, but they are skilled at pretending to be human. Many of them hope or intend to jump from homo psychopathicus, which is humans 0, 0.0, to homo Douse, humans 2.0 or gods without ever having been human 1.0 homo sapiens. <laughs> so I have made yet another attempt to summarize the program and identify the guilty. Now incorporating some of Sabrina Wallace's insights to shine light on the darkness. It is work in progress as usual. So here is another two paragraph attempt to summarize the quote unquote targeted individual TI program. So here we go, folks. Get ready for the language salad here. Special Forces Operations by Special Operations Forces. And in parentheses, it's US Special Operations Command, USSOCOM, comma. More accurately, <laughs> oh my goodness, he's so funny. U S S C U M or SCUM for short. You know, S C U M for short. He's got a sense of humor, guys. Remote neural monitoring, brain to computer interface, neural cognitive warfare, Havana syndrome, total information control, total individual control, non lethal weapons in quotes. Pacification and control, slave, biomedical engineering, human experimenty, trafficking, man hunting business, pay for play, psychotronic, psychological and electronic warfare, market share, jobs, satellite terrorism, DOD's global information grid enterprise, the NSA's global spy network, torture, voyeurism, radical gaming, FBI's Cointelpro plus NATO's Operation Gladio plus CIA's Phoenix program plus CORDS, C-O-R-D-S, domestic torture terror murder programs, full spectrum dominance, routing EM frequencies through the human biofield, also known as the Wireless Body Area Network, which is WBAN, Five Eyes Intelligence Alliance, Signals Intelligence, Signant, 
and human intelligence, humans. Snowden mentioned these in his book, Permanent Record. Dual use emergent exponential technologies to maim and K I L L unalive. The phony quote unquote war on terror, also known as counter terrorism, as net centric cognitive drone warfare against anyone anywhere, biohacking to create transhuman bio robot slaves. Cybernetics, man-machine integration, playing other humans like Sims in a video game, deplatforming, depersoning, quote unquote, signature reduction, sig ray do, deletion of blacklisted expendables, identity management, special forces ops, and gang stalking as a lucrative profession. The New World Order, Great Reset, Fourth Industrial Revolution, UN Agenda 2030, AI Smart Cities, C40 Cities, Internet of Things, IOT. Aerial spraying with toxic chemicals, which are the chemitrailies, and metamaterials to create in-body sensors and in-body nano-networks. <clears throat> Deployment of neuro and directed energy weapons against civilians. Open air prison, concentration camp, police, military psychologists, computer network engineers, politicians, judges, medical doctors, nurses, scientists, academics, neighborhood watch vigilantes, and lawfare, quote unquote, on the take as gang stalking perpetrators. Oh, um, the TI program is best understood as one of the greatest crimes against humanity in history. However, governments gaslight the population, maintaining that this black program, special access program, or SAP, ongoing since the 1950s at least, doesn't exist. The evil inherent of this program would be inconceivable were it not matched by the radical evil inherent in the system and expanding government-supported sex, child, slave, uh, you know, the T word, the F-F-I-N-G word, of illegal immigrants in the U.S. and the DODs and U.N. injection of most of humanity with, the, with an operating system. Via the jabby-wabby and systemic genocide, democide of the I don't know if I could say this, guys. Um, 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 you know, the country... Uh, the countries that are at war right now. And American militaries, decades of aerial spraying of metamaterials, metal oxides, toxic chemicals into our skies, our earth, our bodies, and current attempts to technologically enslave humanity via the Great Reset. You and Agenda 2030... All of these crimes against humanity proceed today without effective opposition. Each of these state-sponsored operations is a multi-billion to trillion dollar industry. Each comprises depopulation, genocide, democide, mass uh, unaliving of innocence. Alas, the pretext of decency and law and order seem to have vanished from America. And now he's quoting here. I met a very elderly lady at a campground once, Mary. She was the widowed owner. We had an interesting conversation in which she stated, in the end, God holds all the cards. There you have it, folks. Some words of wisdom by Dr. Eric Carlstrom explaining what this program is in its entirety. The bottom line, it is a state-sponsored operation. It is a multi-billion to trillion dollar industry. It comprises depopulation, genocide, democide, and the mass unaliving of innocence. There is no decency or law and order. A-M-A-R-I-C-A -A -A has gone down the tubes. 
So I will cut and paste some of this information in the description section so that you can go back and understand the words. You can look up the definitions of some of these crimes that are against us. So I hope everybody's doing okay. And yes, uh, TI's targeted individuals, crimes against humanity by subhuman psychopaths. And why, why us? Why? We're independent thinkers. We care about the world and people. We're empathic. We're intelligent. We're, we have a moral compass. We're change agents and they fear us. They fear us. They're afraid. That's why they're cowards. We won't see, they don't, won't show their faces. Imagine going to work every day and doing what they do and then going home to their wife. And how about their children? Hey, little honey pie. You know what daddy does for a living? That's right. And you're all next. All you subhumans. When we're all gone, yeah, and you're, what you probably do is you collect our DNA. Once you get rid of all of us and the world has gone down the tubes and then you kind of have some reminiscing going on about how it was before and how it really wasn't that bad. Having us around really wasn't that bad. Oh, let's just go to the cloning station and we'll just make another one of those Lorraines, you know. Uh, we'll just make another one of... Uh, well, I can't even say people's names, guys. We'll just make another one of those people because, you know, we kind of liked having them around. They were kind of good for something. So that's what these criminals will do if, if they don't blow the, their own selves up. Because no matter how much money they have, no matter how much planning they have, God has the final word and Mother Nature. And as much as they are controlling it... They can't control everything, right? And I, I think I mentioned in a video a couple of weeks ago that years ago, before I even knew I was targeted, I had this like premonition. I don't know where it came from. It came out of nowhere. It was one of those underground tunnels. Uh, where it came from, why I was thinking about it, I have no idea. But what it was, it was going to collapse in itself and it, it was it belonged to somebody important I have no idea who but it was somebody important so it's gonna happen it'll happen and all these criminals these subhumans what does he call them okay well, I'm gonna reread that again he calls them um, these are not humans we call them Human 0.0 or Homo Psychopathicus. <laughs> they are not humans by any reasonable definition, but they are skilled at pretending to be human. Many of them hope, intend to jump from Homo Psychopathicus Human 0.0 to Human Do's, <laughs> which is Human 2.0 Gods, without ever having been actual humans 1.0 human Homo Sapiens. So that was good. That was a good one. Thumbs up to Dr. Carlstrom. And I'm going to sign off. This is Lorraine Alternative Homesteading. Please hit the thumbs up. Share if you feel inclined to do so. And I look forward to your questions and comments.